Well, I didn't want to do this, but I feel as if it's necessary. In the previous video, I had a list of hard nose and soft nose, and one of the soft nose was condiments. But now I feel as if I'm cheating myself if I don't fully commit to going an entire year without any kind of processed sugar. So I'm going to officially move condiments from the soft nose into the hard nose. Bread is still going to be on the soft nose just because the amount of sugar that's in bread is pretty minimal. And besides which, it is extremely difficult in our society to avoid any kind of bread at all, even more difficult than it is to avoid condiments. But even though a serving size of ketchup, or any kind of condiment for that matter, has very little added sugar, because we use so much of it, or at least because I use so much of it, it definitely adds up. So if I'm going to be using condiments in the future, then I'm going to try to go for the sugar-free options regardless of how bad they might taste. Or I can make my own ketchup, which might take some time, but if I make a big enough batch, it could be worth it. But on to more pleasant things. I want to talk about now about the benefits that I have experienced in the first three weeks of being off of sugar. So the first one, which is the most obvious to me and also the least glamorous and probably ultimately the least important, is my voice is more resonant. Now, it might not exactly come across too well on a MacBook camera uh, and on a MacBook audio system, but it is pretty obvious to me, particularly when I wake up in the morning. Of course, after having slept, you know, for six to eight hours, which I typically get on any given night, my voice is pretty well rested, and so it's it naturally sounds pretty uh, pretty resonant. However, I've noticed that throughout these past three weeks, it has stayed that level of resonance that I usually experience only in the morning, mostly or maybe entirely due to the lack of sugar and the increase of water in my system. Hydration has a lot to do with the resonance and the quality of your voice. And so now that I'm only drinking water and coffee and the occasional cup of tea, as long as it has no sugar in it, I've found that my voice is actually much more resonant than it usually is. So that's a pretty nice and fairly unexpected benefit of being off of sugar for 21 days. The second benefit is that I just have a much more steadier mood throughout the day. Um, I found that I'm just generally happy, or uh, happier than I was, and that mood doesn't really change much from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed at night. Now, of course, a lot of this has to do with the fact that I've been on vacation ever since May 20th, and so I'm feeling pretty chill, pretty relaxed, and it's been, you know, two months. Um, but at the same time, I have definitely noticed that I don't have these extreme mood swings, and I, I don't feel down about certain things or about life in general after having binged eaten uh, sugar, which I used to do in the past, you know, after having, like, 12 Oreos, which I can easily eat in one sitting. Um, I, I find that I don't feel uh, gross and or depressed. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, it's really nice to be able to just kind of wake up. And, and, you know, I don't feel ecstatic, you know, but it, it's, it's, it's nice to just kind of like be at peace and feel good throughout the day. Just kind of like feel that, that general feeling of well-being is so nice. And I'm not going to take that for granted anytime soon. The third benefit is that I have better focus, uh, particularly with conversations, which is kind of interesting. Uh, in the past, when someone has been talking to me, I've had to make a pretty distinct effort to focus and to try and absorb what they're saying. But after having been off sugar for 21 days, I no longer feel like a brick wall. I feel like when people speak to me, I hear what they're saying, and I'm able to process it, and I'm, and I'm able to respond accordingly. So, I mean, and it doesn't, it's not just conversations that my focus is better. Uh, it, my focus is better when I'm doing any kind of activity, which is really nice. But that's also um, another benefit that I did not expect. I was in the car recently and I was listening to a podcast, which is about an hour and a half long. And typically with podcasts or any kind of uh, audio material for that matter, the words will be coming into my ears and I'll be listening. I mean, I am genuinely interested, but then I, my mind will wander. My mind will go somewhere else. And then I'll have to kind of snap back to it after two minutes or maybe, you know, rewind on my phone a little bit to catch what they were saying. But now I'm able to make a distinct effort in paying attention and I actually can stay in that zone of attention. Um, so that's pretty cool. 
Another benefit that I'll not be taking for granted anytime soon. The fourth reason is eagerness to learn. Now this one is probably the weirdest or maybe least common one on this list. And again, another benefit that I was not exactly expecting, but I am so eager to learn new things. Now, this isn't necessarily anything new with me. I love learning. Um, I mean, that's kind of the goal of my life, you know, continuous growth, continuous learning till the day I die. But without sugar, I think my brain is looking for sources of pleasure in other areas and other resources. And I just want to like, I have, I mean, it's, it's not like an all day feeling, but there are just some moments where I just have like this craze of wanting to learn. Like usually when I'm on YouTube, uh, it's like 98% nonsense, you know, like, uh, memes or like sports highlights or anything movie related. If you have been following my other channel, cinematic adventures, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that I adore movies. And so I would say about 50% of what I watch on YouTube is movie related. But sometimes I just have these like two to three hour sessions where I just want to like learn stuff on YouTube. I'll watch like fitness videos or videos about history or videos about psychology or anything else that interests me that is actually educational. <laughs> and um, one of my friends is an associate pastor and he recently showed me his huge bookshelf uh, in his office. And I just had this urge to like consume it all. Like I just wanted to grab every single book and just like like read through it like the flash, you know, um, I just wanted to like read it all. Um, and, and I found that like these past three, three weeks, whenever I'm in front of a bookshelf, I just want to like consume everything that's there. Um, so that's pretty cool, you know, and as I mentioned in my first video, one of the, uh, or and maybe I didn't actually, maybe I might not have mentioned this in my first video, but one of the major benefits of staying off of sugar or any kind of low value pleasure is that your motivation returns. It's not instantaneous, but it definitely returns. Uh, your motivation to have a better life, your motivation to learn, your motivation to enjoy the uh, higher value activities of life, it comes back to you. And that is definitely one benefit that I will never be taking for granted. So those are just a few of the benefits that I have experienced so far these past three weeks. I hope to experience more and more as time goes by. Only three weeks in, 49 to go. <laughs> so hopefully there will be a lot more to look forward to. As always, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates.